thought he was. I thought he was still over there. I thought he was running with them. Guys, welcome to a new video, and this is gonna be a different type of video. So I got myself a new camera with the Lynx Advisor series that I've started up and the lockdown, I decided to upgrade my camera. I used to use a GoPro Hero 4. Um, I'll still use that for bits and pieces, but I thought for the main camera, I would try and upgrade it. Now, this was to try and get some high definition uh, videos and also to get like a zoom so maybe we can start doing some zoom on some people's shots etc the camera i went for is the lumix dc tz90 or to give it its full name is the panasonic lumix dc tz90 super zoom digital camera 4k ultra hd 20.3 megapixel 30 time optical zoom wi-fi evf three inch LCD tiltable, tiltable touch screen in the silver. So just a couple of key features of this camera. So the, the key features, it's got an MOS sensor delivers professional power, super high detail with 20.3 megapixels, a super, super zoom Leica lens giving astonishing 30 time optical zoom. Crystal clear clarity with 4K video and photo. Post focus function lets you adjust focus after taking the photo. Three inch LCD touch screen gives you the state of the art control and flips up for easy self portraits or selfie moments, we probably know that. Integrated Wi-Fi lets you pair up with your smart device. Now, I've used this camera already, obviously, uh, the, some of the shots that are in, in my intro. I've used the Panasonic app. It's as good as the GoPro one, but not as good in other ways. So on GoPro, when I used to do my videos, I could take a four second clip or a 21 second clip out of a two minute video. Uh, with the Panasonic one, you have to clip it down and then save it as a new one and then delete the long video to get the 10 seconds that you want out of the two minute video. On the GoPro app also, you could save a single frame as a photo. You can't, you don't seem to be able to do that on the Panasonic. You seem to have to download the video, like I say, and then kind of screenshot it and take your photo from there. It's not a massive issue, but I always think that with screenshots, sometimes you can lose a bit of the clarity, so. So in the link below will be the, the link to the camera where I got the camera from. I'm not gonna tell you the price on that now. We're gonna do a bit of what the camera does, uh, show you some pictures as well, uh, show you some videos that I did. Um, the, the product specification is in the link. Um, I'm not gonna go through it all now because I just wanna save some time really. And if you're interested in, in this camera, then like I say, the link's in below and you can see the product specification. So some of the features that the camera has, it has two uh, slow motion features, as well as you can put some filters across your videos. Now, I'm not someone that's gonna use filters a lot, but sometimes it's nice just to change it up a little bit in the videos. So firstly, we're gonna do the slow motion in 100 frames per second with HD. Now, like this, I think it's a good pace, 100 frames per second. The HD is very clear. And it's probably one that I'm going to use in my videos out of the two i'll show you the uh the other one later but i think this slow motion i think works really well there's some swings that we did off the apt this is nick out of the rough decided to do a bit more of a close-up on the using the slow motion
So the first filter we're gonna look at is the expressive. Now I like this filter, I think it's got some good clarity. I think the colors come out pretty well. The only issue is, is maybe that the shadows are a little bit more pronounced. And here I was just using the zoom on the path on one of the path fours is about 300 yards, but we'll get to the zoom later, later on. Next filter is high dynamic. Again, I think it's a nice, nice filter. I think the colors come out pretty well. As you can see, the pedum place where we film this is quite brown at the moment. So obviously you won't get the lush green, but I think the, the actual green of the green comes out pretty nicely. And I think the dynamic works pretty well to be fair. The third filter was cross process. I didn't really like this. As you can see, it's got a strange tint to it. Now it may work in other videos, but for this one and golf, maybe not. But that's something that we can uh, maybe use differently. Toy effect. I like this one. I think it centers a lot into the middle. So whatever's in the middle of the, the picture is pronounced. And I think it gives a nice border to, to the video as well. This is probably one that I could I could use in some videos. Maybe if the maybe if it's a bit bright out, maybe I can just dull down so it's not as bright. So this is the super slow motion in 200 frames per second. Now this only recalls in VGA, not in HD, which I'm not a fan of. VGA is okay, but it doesn't do it in 16 by 9 either, so you have to kind of stretch it to get it into uh, obviously these videos. So I'll probably be using 100 frames per second plus 200 frames per second. It just takes that little bit too long. One clear point, and again, I think this brings out the colour. It's quite a dramatic filter. I think you can see the bank in the back there. It's quite dramatic with the colours and it makes the shadows more pronounced. But I think overall it's a, it's a decent one. It's again one that I may use when it's very bright out just to just to try and control the, the light. And then we have no filter. So this is with no filter. But I purposely aim this at the sun to see if the sun would affect the, how the colours come out. Um, and I think it done okay. I think the I think the colours are pretty good. And as you can see, we are quite shadowed but I think when you're pointing the camera straight at the sun I don't think you can ask for too much more. This was earlier on that you might have seen earlier where it wasn't where it wasn't pointed at the sun and I think the colours come out really well without a filter. So the zoom, the 30 time optical zoom. Now this was off the 8T at Pedham and that's the London skyline. You have to forgive me for being a bit shaky it's the first time I was really using the zoom. Uh, this hole was like 310, 320 that I said earlier. And as you can see, the zoom's pretty good. You can see my ball in the back of the green there. I tried to do some zoom in on shots just as for a bit of practice. This was Nick into probably the 11th or 12th hole. And again, off the 17th tee at Pedham, zooming into the London skyline. I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty good with a bit of practice. I mean, obviously if I wanted it steadier, I would use a tripod. So that is my new camera. So let me know what you think of it. Do you think that the colors work well? Is there any filters that you liked, didn't like? Like I say, I'm not gonna use them a lot, but sometimes maybe it's nice just to change it up a little bit or to bring a little bit of drama or something into the video. Would you like us to do some zooming in on shots? I'm not saying that I'm gonna do a course vlog straight away, but maybe it's nice just to do some zooming on some shots and things like that, or maybe I'll be up at the green and zoom someone hitting and then obviously zoom out to their ball landing on the green hopefully. So one of the only issues I've kind of had as well is a bit of the sounds. Now I couldn't quite get the muff that I wanted so because they were sold out but I've got this little one at the moment and it's okay it's not too bad but ideally I would want to try and get some form of microphone. Now there doesn't seem to be somewhere on here that I can put a microphone in. It's got a, a micro HDMI so maybe I can try and find. I did look Hopefully I can try and find a microphone that'll fit it. So the price, so the price for everything that you get, like I say, the 30 time optical zoom, the 4K, the HD, the slow-mo and everything. I got it off the John Lewis website. Now at the time I got it for 27999. So 280 pounds, which I think is pretty good value for money. With the Lynx Advisor series, obviously that's based on trying to get the best value for money. So I tried to continue that into getting my new camera. 
just jumped on the John Lewis website, it's actually gone up to 299. So you're paying 300 pounds for this camera now. So in the comments below, let me know, do you think 299 or 279 as I paid is good value for money? Do you think that this camera is going to improve the videos? What do you want to try and see more of, of the stuff that I just showed you then? And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe in down below, also ring that bell. And like I say, any comments, I'll get back to you and maybe we can discuss. All the links in, are in the description if you're interested in looking more into this camera. I've enjoyed using it so far uh, and it's gonna be a good addition to the channel. So cheers guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.